Oh, completely. Yeah. Did he give you a bit of leeway, Stan? Did he turn a blind eye to some things? Was he willing to do that? Um, well, he did about my timing. Let you come in at ten to three, didn't Let it? me come in at ten to three eventually. <laughs> what, on match days? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Don Shanks used to cover up for me. <laughs> Because I'd be in the betting shop, just, which is right next to the ground, QPR. <laughs> Ten to three. And Dave, uh, Don would cover for me and... Um, <laughs> How did he cover for you, Dad? Well, he'd just say he's popped Put out a blonde there. wig on. He's, got, he's <laughs> took some tickets out to somebody, anything like that. He's gone out to the, you know... And I, I would just walk in. You had your in. boots on, though, didn't you? You well, your nah. boots on. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the day that it happened, when it, when it all came out, he'd found out that I wasn't getting there till Ten to three. <laughs> I said, well, listen, Dave. It's lovely, isn't it? It's just like a Sunday league match to me. <laughs> you go out, you put your, you put your kit on and away we go. It's, it doesn't matter, the crowds don't bother me and all that. But by the way, what are the tactics today? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just... He just felt and washed see, his hands You it. couldn't see Alex Ferguson or Benitez dealing with Stan coming to the tent for the team meeting, don't could don't you? Worry. Today, he's just... It'd have come Stan was unique, he was fantastic. <laughs> and... Just went out and performed. Just he, as a, that was Stan. Did but you realise it was ten to three? Yeah, of course. It did. But I have to say, I have to say, when you look at Stan, Jeff, it, it didn't make no difference. That's the best way. That's the best way for him to do it. Mm. I think sitting in there would drive him mad. You know, mm. so I think he's better yeah. out the way. He go and do his bits and pieces. I mean, I can remember a time that season we were we were playing Arsenal in the evening uh, evening game. We trained in the morning and we went back to Stan's place to have a bit of lunch and and his first wife. Was yeah. uh, was uh, <laughs> cooking it for us, and um, I think we were just about starting eating. There was a knock at the door, and out in the door, it's the bailiffs. They took the television, the table we were eating on. That's what you call pressure. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the meals were just on the floor on the carpet. Anyway, we went to Arsenal that evening. He, we drew two two. He got two goals. That didn't make no difference. <laughs> See, that was a relief to me to football, mm. going on the pitch. You know, I'd have, uh, have uh, bookmakers looking for me, and uh, that ninety minutes was uh, let's you know let's get on with it. That was. That, that was what, what I was all about. I brought the uh, the entertainment part from uh, Manchester. You dr drilled into you by Malcolm Allison and Joel Mercer that you had to entertain the crowd. So I brought that with and put a little bit. I studied. Uh, I did pick one thing off off Rodney Marsh. I don't get on with him, but and that was getting a penalty. He used to trip himself up, and I noticed it. You know, I picked little things up. <laughs> the other anyway, thing you got from Roddy Marsh, you can delete the, that. You got the number ten. <laughs> you got the number ten shirt, didn't you? Because I think nobody else was I willing did, to wear. Yeah, it. yeah, but it was just a bit of a. I'd not. Really, I'd never heard of Rodney Marsh. You know what I mean? Still haven't dealt with a lot of them now, do you? <laughs> did, did you have the, the hint, the inclination, Stan, that you know you were on the brink of something big? Yeah, the, the, definitely from um, the pre-season games in Germany. We beat the top sides very easily. I knew we was a good side. And um, as we, we beat Derby 5-1 um, away from home with two centre-halves missing, McClintock and Webb. And um, uh, Dave Mackay said it was a fluke, but we knew it wasn't a fluke. We was a good side. Is that game he's got a hat-trick in? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He says modestly, you were going to let that pass <laughs> you without saying anything, you know? Yeah. Do you, do you remember your goals, Stan? I mean, did, are they still fresh in your mind? No, no, because I'm not really a, a watcher of football. Mm. I don't know. Um, I can remember the uh, the goal against Cologne when I broke the record, the European record. But that's about the only one. Did, did Dave Sexton... Oh, there was another few. Oh, no, no, I'm joke. <laughs> <laughs> Why was it that you and Don Shanks ended up in court? Was that a, a, a debt or...? Uh, no, the first, uh, no, the one that happened in um, Holborn, we went to the dogs uh, in a transit van, what Carlisle Peter had lent, kindly lent us for the weekend. We went to Hackney Dogs, and on the way back, we stopped at Holborn for um, McDonald's, whoever, and within seconds, the police was on us. Because uh, surrounded it, didn't they? Yeah, they surrounded it uh, because the transit van had been, the plates had been changed, and it had been used on a bank robbery. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> we went, we went to the Old Bailey over it. <laughs> we went to Shanks. Yeah, we got, we got cleared. The bloke who lent me the uh, I don't drive, Shanks could drive. And he got four years because <coughs> he wasn't on the robbery, but. Uh, 
I thought this was a football program. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? It's fascinating, though, isn't it? It's great. <laughs> Brilliant. I love it. Everybody said, um, when I first come down, uh, West Ham was the aristocrats of football. And I think, I think we drew, actually drew the game 0-0, but we should have, uh, should have beaten 6-0. But I said, to, I think it was Jerry, I said, is that Trevor Brocking? He drops his shoulder and crosses the ball to the near post. He get booed off the park in Man, at Man City. That was all. That was all he was about. Then he was supposed to be their best player. I thought this is going to be easy, Stanley. <laughs> 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 who, who are your favourite players, Stan? Then who are the ones that you, you did like apart from uh, uh, there he these is Rangers? There. Yeah, the main man. George. No, not me, Jeff. Sorry, behind you. Yeah. It's bestie <laughs> behind you. Yeah, because yeah. he, he was a pal of yours, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, he's very friendly. I knew him in Manchester, of, uh, you know, that's the connection. I made me first, played my first derby against George, so the Man City, Man United. But, um, we actually put him down, Man United. Right? Yeah. Bit of 3-0, didn't we, and yeah, George? We did. Oh, yeah. Yes, we did. We did. We put him down. I scored two goals, yeah. Yeah. But George was oh, over, great overweight then, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he wasn't his best. Mm. But uh, the best player you've ever seen in your life. Pelly, you can have a lot of them for me. Here, here. That Gas Paul Gascoigne, he was on the television the other day, saying that he was like more or less as good as George. Now, now you know he's mad. <laughs> he's definitely crap now. It was never a dull moment at QPR, was it? No. Do you remember the guys that used to come to the game? Um, I was very naive. Imagine 20. And I used to see these at the training ground. Our lovely training ground at Risley it was an absolute mm. awful place. It really was the pit. It was a pub face, it was awful, wasn't it? Wasn't it? And I used to see these guys <laughs> coming up. I think there might have been a... F and a guy used to come regularly to the coat. And, and they used to come up and they'd, some of the players had come after the game, and after the train, and they'd go in the back of this car and I'd see some of the players there. And I'd say, what the hell's going on in here? Because you can imagine for me to come down. And I thought, and it was all like all this knocked off gear. Do you remember that? Uh, who Bazing was that? Basing Stoke Bill. Eh? Basing Stoke Bill, that was. Basing Stoke Bill. He'd <laughs> He's been still in, alive, in the West End, got <laughs> crocodile belts, and he had Capa de Monte and all this thing for the, in the back of the car. <laughs> <laughs> What's all this? He <laughs> said, Do Christian Dior ties and all this? Sadly, he got caught. Yeah, yeah, he football. got caught pretty weird. But no, it was just, you know, little things like that. You can imagine coming from Burnley Football Club to something like this, and it was just like an eye opener for me. Like, it just. Beyond belief. But how did the England captain view all this? <laughs> <laughs> well, I never used to go behind the back. Jerry used to buy some of the kills. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry no, was in the queue as well. No. Well, yeah. it, was, it was the most wanted normally around West yeah. London then, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Most wanted guys. Yeah. Yeah. You normally you'd borrow money off of. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like football. That's why I always love football, Stan. Yeah. Lovely.